Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm. In today's video, we are going to be playing as Jaina. At long last, we're actually going to be playing as Jaina. We've been playing a lot of tanks and supports as of recently, and today they gave me the daily quest of playing three games as an assassin. So even though chances are we're going to be thrown into a 5v5 assassin-only team deathmatch, we're still going to be able to play as Jaina, who is one of the most fun characters in the game, in my opinion. She has so many awesome talents, such fun abilities. Ring of Frost as an ultimate is so freaking good. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right into the gameplay. I'm here to help. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know what to say. I, 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 I'm speechless right now. I got thrown into a game as an assassin and there are two tanks and a support and a specialist on my team all together and my support's level 3000. My god. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely freaking insane, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Towers of Doom, aka the Halloween map, aka the Headless Horseman map, aka a map that's actually pretty good. Not my favorite by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a pretty fun map, all things considered. We have myself as Jaina, we have Murden and Imperius there as our warriors, Stukov is going to be healing, and then Zagar, who's going to be pushing those lanes, but on the opposing team, this is kind of scary, we've got the Tracer. We've got the Tracer who's also uh, partnered up with a Thrall, so that's going to be kind of scary. There's going to be an Ariel, who we played uh, as in my previous video, and then a Garrosh and an Asmodan. Garrosh is pretty terrifying. I cannot let him get anywhere near me, but being Jaina, shouldn't be that big of an issue as I ride around here on my little treasure goblin. <laughs> So how Jaina works, really quickly, I'll try and cover that real quick. Uh, our Q is going to be Frostbolt. It's pretty much a skill shot, pretty basic. Our W is going to be called Blizzard, which is going to basically bombard an area twice. And, oh, three waves, sorry. It's actually three waves of ice. So it's basically a little AoE you can put down on the ground. And then Cone of Cold is an AoE you can shoot out in front of you. And all of your abilities are going to chill your target. Now, we're going to be taking talent here, which is going to increase the chill duration. So by default, when you hit anybody with your abilities, well, I should say opposing players with your abilities, that is going to chill them, which is going to slow them by 25% for four seconds. Now it's actually six seconds because of the talent that we took. And also makes them take 50% more damage from your other chilling abilities. So it's actually a very good uh, little bit of a combination there. So you can hit people with your E, for example, then hit them with your Q, and it'll do more damage. They're all about combos kind of uh, here with Jaina. And also, uh, the more you do frost damage, I don't want to be this close to their tower, but I guess I can do it to try and slow some fools down. There you go. Oh, I was hoping to be able to get Garrosh there, but he ended up taking a lot of damage. The more uh, frost damage that you do to enemy heroes... Uh, the more you start working on your uh, your quest here. You have a quest by default, and once you do 15,000 frost damage to enemy heroes, that is going to make it so you get a new ability called Ice Block, which basically puts you in a stasis and makes you invulnerable for 2.5 seconds. And yeah, so it's a pretty neat little ability. Uh, back in the day, that was actually a talent, the Ice Block Regina, but they just built it into her kit, which is actually something they've done a lot of here in Heroes of the Storm. They've gone ahead and they made so abilities that were kind of, or talents rather, that were kind of considered to be required, quote unquote, uh, end up getting just baked into the kit of most of the characters in the game, which I think is actually a really good design choice. I'm just gonna try and keep on poking. Right now I'm trying not to overextend because if that Tracer, that Tracer wants to bully me, she can bully me very well. Uh, one of the downsides to Jaina as, you know, with as is true of most mages uh, in games like this, they don't have a lot of mobility. Um, Jaina has very, very little mobility. And she also is very susceptible to people just kind of bullying her, especially fast little characters like that. So uh, you have to play smart. You have to be behind your team. You just can't overextend or anything like that. All right. Now here at level four, I always like to take Arcane Intellect, which is going to make it so dealing damage to the chilled minions or chilled enemies is going to try and slow them down here. Here, I just got slowed. Now, silence by a Stukov. Very nice. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it so when I'm doing a bunch of damage to the same targets over and over, it's going to refund my mana back to me. So, uh, you might be... Oh, she ended up healing herself there. I was going to say, she's overextending just a little bit. Now, here comes Tracer coming up to try to annoy the Stukov. I'm just going to sit here and keep on auto-attacking her. Getting a little bit low on mana, but that talent that we took right there, Arcane Intellect, is going to make it so we basically don't have to worry about mana too much uh, throughout the remainder of the game. And... Oh, I was hoping to be able to get her there. That was very close, man. He keeps, he keeps like, just knocking on Death's door. 
All right, so now we're going to 18 seconds to try and get mana. We should be okay here with Stukov, and then, of course, Muradin. We should be okay to get this. Zagar might be able to get bottom, which would be fantastic. Uh, I'll take a hit if I have to. All right, we're good. All right, I was I thought maybe they're going to come and try and stop us. Let's just go ahead and destroy these guys here. Get our regen globe. Definitely struggling for mana right now, but let's head on down south here and try and help out Zagara because she's going to be dealing with Naz... Or, yeah, oh, Zagara's a girl. Uh, she's going to be dealing with Asmodan. All right, Asmodan's now retreating, as he should. Can you guys get back in lane? That'd be fantastic. All right. Unless he can Q again, I was going to say, that's going to be that's gonna be bad. Because their team's so focused on grouping together with the Garrosh. Uh, Garrosh is really good, but if your team doesn't like work around him, uh, he's kind, he, he struggles quite a bit, right? And right now they're trying to work with him, but when they're all grouped up like that, if the Garrosh isn't heading down here, then they're missing out on the entire objective, right? And got a little bit of Frost off on her there. And just sit here and auto-attack her. And I'm going to drop this there in case she wants to try and retreat back somehow. And there you go. That's the power of the slow. Uh, taking that talent that we took at level 1, which is going to increase the chill duration from 4 seconds to 6 seconds, means if I hit them with my Frost Bolt, my Cone of Cold, or my uh, Blizzard, you know, they're slowed by 25% for 6 seconds, which is really annoying. <laughs> you guys know how annoying it is to be slowed. Now, here are a couple different talents we can take. Uh, let's just go ahead and blow this up here and then do that. Couple different talents we can take. Uh, yeah, if you could not get murdered by old Laser Dan. Oh, he almost got Kobe'd. I'm gonna be taking this, which is going to increase the Kona Cold area and reduce its cooldown um, for each hero that I hit. It's kind of nice. It makes so my ease a little bit easier to use. And there, now, now you're nice and slowed. It makes it a little bit easier to use, and also it's a lot better in team fights. So that's just the talent I've always kind of taken my place, Shayna. It just, again, makes life easier. I'm not even worried about that. His Q, he's not building into his Q, I don't believe. So his, uh, Asmodan's little dunk right there is not really going to be doing that much to me. All right. The ultra's going to be spawning down here, so we've got that going for us. And now we go for the slow, and then we go for that. Then we hit you with this. And, oh, if I was quicker on the auto attack there, we probably could have actually killed off Tracer. But now she's definitely going to want to dip on out. And we're going to come to cold this. Just kind of get them out of lane. Of course, he's going to be able to Kobe that. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to back it up here. We end up hitting him with that. Drop this down the Tracer. Auto attacker. Hit her with the Cone of Cold. I don't like Tracers. She's now dead. All right. We got to watch out for the Garrosh here. All right. Got them all slowed. And I'm trying to hit him with my Q. But all right. Drop this right there in the middle. Kind of cut them all off from each other. Slow down Garrosh. He's going to throw me, but, I mean, if we can capitalize on any of this damage, Garrosh... Oh, perfect heal. What a great heal by Ariel right there. Garrosh might be still going down, though. Oh, another great heal. Where is she getting all this energy from? She's back to full energy already. Who does she have her crown on? But it looks like... Oh, Zagara might actually... Oh, uh, Zagara, she's trying it. What little bar right there at the bottom is... Uh, eh, oh, my gosh. She was so close. She was so close, and Tracer just zipped right on in. Zagar actually got out. Wow. Going as fast as I can down here. I'm seeing you're at full health, but oh, they have their ultis now. That's a little bit terrifying. That's a little bit terrifying. Oh, if you can bring them back to here. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think you're actually getting out of this? And send this over. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying so hard to stall this. Hey, Gary. You're taunting me right in my blizzard. He's oh my gosh, the heals! They're healing her. They're healing Garrosh so well. He keeps getting so close to death. And then the Argo just freaking saves him. Ah, uh, we could have had that easily, but they end up getting their ultimates on us. Uh, we're gonna be taking Ring of Frost here, which after a 1.5 uh, second delay, it's going to create a Ring of Frost in the area that's going to deal fi about 500 damage and roots enemies for three seconds. And it's so freaking good. <laughs> it's so good. The water elemental is so bad. Like, what? Why do people ever even consider it? Ring of Frost. You have to take Ring of Frost. It's just so much better. It's so much better. Like every situation. All right, so here I like the idea of us actually getting camps, but looks like we're going to be trying to bully a little bit, so we'll see. I'm coming on over. Oh, Ariel might be... No, she was looking like she was going to take a lot more damage there for a sec. There we go. Just get rid of all that. 
Now here comes the Tracer, just being an annoying little fly, because that's what Tracers are. And now I've got my Ring of Frost. And you know what? We're just going to... We're going to get a pick there on the healer. And then, again, here she comes, but... Oh, the arm! Ah, uh, she ended up still dying to that, though. And slowly down. And there goes Tracer. And I would love so much to be able to get Garrosh, but he's going to make himself unstoppable and head forward. That's fine. That's fine. But we have... Well, Tracer's going to be down for the start of the new objective, but of course she is Tracer, and she'll be able to get back here pretty quickly. And in 50 more seconds, we'll get Ring of Frost. But yeah, Ring of Frost, especially if you have uh, people on your team that can actually follow up on it, is such an insanely good ultimate. It's so freaking good. All right. Now, this is where it gets tricky. We're, we have to wait for our healer to get back here. He's on his way, but... There we go. He's trying to bully that Garrosh out just a little bit. Yeah, I'm right. not going to let Thrall take that. Ring of Frost here in 20 seconds. And slow you guys all down like crazy. And hey, Gary. Down goes Gary. I'm just going to stand right here and hopefully not die. I end up dying anyway. Uh, resur oh, they're resurrecting Garrosh. Oh, no. The Ariel Garrosh combo is insane. It's freaking nuts. Well, what they did is they actually were able to get our Stukov down pretty much immediately. And then once Stukov went down, we lost pretty much everything. That's rough. That's rough. I feel like I'm actually playing pretty well right now. Stats aren't really showing it too much right now, but just in general, we're getting picked off a lot. We're losing a lot of our, our team fights and stuff like that. And the res, yeah, that you guys saw in the last video just how good res can actually be with Ariel. She's such a good healer. Um, and being able to res a Garrosh like that is terrifying because Garrosh is such a big, bulky, annoying, scary tank to be around because he can throw... If you guys know how Garrosh works, he can take you and throw you to his teammates, which he might be doing right here. We'll see. Uh, I would love so much. Oh. You know what? There we go. I would love not to die here. There we go. And go for that. Now, she might be able to res. Oh, if, let me just kill off this little thing right here. It's just pummeling me. I could use a heal so much. I could use a heal. I would just... I would love a heal more than pretty much anything. But you know what? Instead of going for a heal, we're just going to take the fact that we got those picks and just back it up. <laughs> now, here at level 13, a couple different talents you can take. Some people say Icy Veins to reduce the... Um, make sure things recharge a lot faster, which means you're going to have a lot more burst. Um, I actually prefer to take the Stormfront, which is going to increase the range of my Blizzard. It just makes it pretty easy for me to be able to um, clear things out a little bit longer. It increases the range of it by 100%. But also, at the same time, Ice Barrier is pretty good. Uh, damaging chilled enemies can give you a little bit of a shield, which I think we're actually going to be taking after the sake of this particular match. That's not going to be active here for... Uh, did it get me? No, it didn't get me. Perfect. I'm going to be taking it for this particular match because this match is all about the team fights. And... We went behind them and everything. It doesn't seem to matter. And now the Tracer is going to be... Unless I can get out of here. Nope. I am going to say, the Tracer is probably not going to let me get away. And I'm going to keep on slowing you and hitting you. This Tracer. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. You dip forward. <gasps> That's what I'm saying. You get picked out with a Tracer like that. It just doesn't work out for you. But so far, it's not looking very good. Uh, despite our team having some really high-level players, nobody's really playing all that well. And as a result, ugh, losing, a lot of, losing a lot of very easy fights. Like, I go down there. We go behind. Ready to sell them off. And bam, bam, bam. Everyone dies. It's like, ah, uh, if we could just... Win one team fight. That's all we need right now. And right now, they've actually got five of the towers as compared to our three, which is really hurting things. It means every time, if you guys don't know, uh, how much damage those shrines do is determined by how many towers you have. Um, every time you call one in, it's going to do that much damage to the opposing team's core. So we have 18 hits left. You know, they have 32. Now, like right there, what was the point of that? What was the point of what Stukov just did? The dude's level 3,000. He just goes behind the two of them, slams them into a wall for no reason, and then gets himself killed. I, I don't really see like what the logic was in that, but Imperius might actually be able to get top here. Let's act, we have to go defend bottom for sure. We definitely have to get down here and defend bottom. We have an Azvadan along with two camps. They're gonna be trying to get that down pretty quick. But me being Janda, I can actually uh, do a decent job of trying to slow them all down. See, I was able to get a good amount of them away, but not all of them. And that's a pretty, pretty big shield I had there for a couple seconds. Take a sippy, just because why not? We saved the tower, but 
<laughs> wing and a prayer right there, guys. Wing and a prayer. Now, in matches like this where it feels like uh, the odds are kind of stacked against you, uh, the only thing you can really do is just try your best to do your role and do it as well as you possibly can. And if you do that, then, you know, if you end up losing, at least you tried your best, right? Uh, I mean, we're going to... At least we're going to go for the increased blizzard radius for sure, but... That's going to bully them all. If they keep going forward again, I will ring a frost them right here. It'd be great if I could ring a frost them right underneath the tower, but I think instead we should focus on trying to get any towers that we can. The time is now. Let's see. I, I thought they'd actually be up here ready to take it from us. Oh, they're actually going down to mess with Zagara. Okay. Well, we might be able to get down there. Probably not, though. How are they not taking I was going to say, how are they not taking it yet? Uh, well, we got our Frostbite uh, quest complete. We now have our improved uh, Ice Block. But just no such luck. I mean, Tracer's getting picked off by an Imperius up top for some reason. I don't know why he even went over there to contest her. I, just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Ooh, the Haymaker. We might be able to save this tower. I'm just going to drop... Oh, I was going to say, I was going to drop my blizzard right there, but I anticipated them actually walking in. No such luck. Now they've got that because they were able to split push it so much. We need to stay grouped and just win a single team fight, man. It was close there for a bit. And this BS... Yeah, it is uh, not exactly going great. But then again, it's mostly just really bad play. Ooh! And get this up there. I'm trying so hard to do damage without actually getting too close. And let me tell you just how hard that is. And we're going to ice block here, which is going to slow all of them as soon as I get out and deal. Oh, look at that shield. My gosh, that shield's actually insane. Then Tracer got knocked back all the way in here from the Stukov. That was actually insane. Well, we picked one of them, but, you know, as with every team fight we've had this match, we lose <laughs> two people in the process. <laughs> Though, thankfully, uh, when they get both these altars, that will be the end of the game. <laughs> Ow! Painful. Very, very painful matchup. We had such a good composition, too. And you guys know how it's going to work out from here. Like, you already know how it's going to work out from here. Hey there, Gary. I need you to take it easy. How it's going to work out from here is uh, we're going to get into another match, and it's going to be 5v5 Assassins. Like, this was our one chance in this video, I think, for us to have a proper, you know, decent team composition where Jaina can actually feel like a proper assassin and have some interplay between the classes. Ah, it was rough. What a rough match that was. Overall, I feel as though I was actually playing pretty well, but just everybody was dead constantly. <laughs> <laughs> they really played around that garage. I talked around. I talked about how earlier in the video, how uh, Garrosh, if you play around him, uh, especially in a mode like Quick Match where people are kind of like unorganized, uh, a team that organizes around him can actually be very good. Like really, really, really good. Like they just throw him into the back line. They murder him. It just it's he's insanely powerful in that respect, right? But uh, all right, one game down. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves and find ourselves a little bit better of a matchup. All right, ladies and gentlemen, third time's the charm. At least I'm hoping third time's going to be the charm. So I decided to cut the second gameplay out of this video because one, the videos recently have been super long. And because of that, I don't mind posting like hour long videos, but those videos end up taking ages to render and then upload and then process. And it gets to the point where my videos are being uploaded at like two o'clock in the morning, which is not exactly ideal. But also, the match didn't really go as planned. Here's some gameplay from that match, and just, we had a really good comp. We did, but just everybody was playing so poorly, and we ended up losing, which was super unfortunate. So I thought, you know what? Let's try again. I have to play three games anyway. Let's go into another match, and we actually ended up going to Braxis Holdout here, which is my one of my favorite maps in the game. One of my favorite ones, definitely. And man, I always I always pick Jaina whenever I'm playing ranked on this map because Jaina is so freaking good at the wave clear. It's insane. And I can't believe it, but I've played three straight games today 
as Jaina, as an assassin, I also changed up my skin. Check out the red. Check out the red. I thought maybe we should switch up from the blue after the first gameplay, but um, I played three straight games as an assassin, and I got matched up with a tank and a support. Like, what freaking is even happening here? But we have myself here as Shayna. We have a Cassia as an assassin. Of course, a Kael'thas this time on our team. Typically, we play against Kael'thas's, not... Uh, uh, with Kael'thas's, but then we also have an Uther and a Malganist. A very nice team there, but they all, they have a Sergeant Hammer, then a Blaze, and a Kael'thasad. Oh, we'll see how it goes. Ooh, we took the Flame Strike quest. All right, that's a, that's typically a good way to go. Let's go Lingering Chill here. Flame Strike's a pretty good quest to have, but how it works is you have to hit like 20 Flame Strikes um, without dying, right? And if you're able to do that, then your Flame Strike gets buffed. But if you end up uh, dying, then it resets the entire quest. So, you know, if you fail early on, you die early on as Kael'thas, then it's a bit of an issue. And let's just go up there and just drop that on you. Okay, I didn't expect the sleep to be put on me right there. Right now, we're having a little bit of uh, difficulty dealing with the Sergeant Hammer. But, I mean, Kael'thas, you would think, would... Ooh, the stun! Then the... Oh! Might be enough to kill me. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say, drop this maybe right there, but I'm not. Oh, what ended up killing her there? Just damage over time, I guess. Without being able to be healed. Drop that on you. Let's not get hit by this freaking <laughs> blaze. I'm not about that life right now. But I am all about this uh, getting relatively free chill damage off on these guys. He's going to try and chain me. Oh, nope, we're good. Yeah, that damage, I mean, because Sergeant Hammer's not moving, it's going to make doing damage pretty easy. And, oh, as I say, if he's going to come up there and try and chase my boy, my boy KT, he's got another thing coming. All right, we might be able to bully them up here. And that, oh, that's, that's a big one, but I'm, I'm rooted. I got rooted there. I was going to be able to get out definitely, but we got a good amount of damage, and we might be able to get that hammer, but man... They're playing around her so well. What we got going on, on up here? That way we actually have our tank down bot. We don't need our uh, we don't need our <laughs> our one tank facing the tank killer freaking Malthale up here solo. You know, I can maybe deal with Malthale. I'm not 100 percent sure of my skill in the 1v1 exactly, but I'll try. And go for this. Oh, I, I wanted to weaken him just a little bit there before we get into this little fight. He's definitely, yep, I'm going to say he's definitely going to be coming. And backed up into that. Oh. Well, so far, he, he has outplayed me with his dashes. But I got my cooldowns back. Go for that. And goes behind me. Hit him with that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm not so sure about my ability to actually properly be able to duel him here. I'm able to, like, kite him and get away from him and stuff like that, but it's it's a problem. But hopefully, they, they got bottom? Yeah, I was going to say, I think they're going to be able to get bottom a lot easier by having a tank. Um, uh, chill attackers, game physical armor. I think we're still going to be taking this here. Let's take a sippy. Let's take a sippy. He's probably hiding, so let's just, uh, if they have bottom, we're just going to clear lane a little bit until I confirm that he's not hiding in a bush right now, waiting to just ambush my face. All right. Well, he's likely still down here in the bush. We're going to try to... Oh, he started going up. And go for that. And I'm just going to drop this right on top of me. There we go. Oh, he freaking jumped behind me, which ruined my skill shot. It's okay, though. Oh, get a little bit of a frost for you. Hit you with one of them. Oh, why is he standing still? Why is he standing still? Was he typing? What was he doing? <laughs> uh, I'll take it. But unfortunately, we lost our Cassia, so it kind of negates the awesomeness of it. Even though I don't, I don't feel like I properly outdueled him there because he kind of just stood still. <laughs> Maybe he just accepted death for it. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Try and get rid of this wave right here. So he's definitely gonna be coming back. I can't take a sippy or nothing, so I'm like healing myself with regen globes. We're gonna go hide right here. Up here he is. Welcome back, my friend, to the duel that never ends. Ah, keep missing the skill shots, but I'm able to, I'm able to kite him pretty well right now. He's going to go behind me here. 
Okay, now he, uh, he always, he, he can always somehow wait until I'm about to use my skill shot. Like, I'm even waiting for him before I even try using Frostbolt, and it doesn't seem to matter. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. All right, so I had the Hearth out, which is unfortunate, but uh, in 10 seconds or so, I'll have a Healing Fountain. So after the next little duel, um, I'll be okay, but it looks like we end up losing bottom, so it's not going to matter all that much. Yeah, we lost bomb. It's fine. I'm going to come down. Now, where are they going to be pushing their minions from? Down bot? Perfect. I can help clear this easily. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Which is why I like playing as Jane on this map. Uh, next talent here, increase cone cold area for sure. I basically have a very cookie cutter build that I run with her. There might be more ideal ways to play with her, but uh, I really do I really do like this build that I run with her. It's It works out a lot. Keep on doing what damage we can. Oh, Blaze, my friend. Ah, uh, oh, perfect stun there by Uther. And the Sergeant Hammer is sitting there in the middle of all the fray. And we might actually be able to pick her off. And that's the end of her. That's definitely the end of her. There we go. Let's just keep on damaging down these guys. That was great job. Great job, all. I'm, 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 I'm going to boost the morale here, boys. We're going to boost some morale. They're going to get down here and get the globe. Oh, it already, already happened. Okay. Try and clear this. Uh, they're all back up, but we might be able to get... For minions to actually hurry up here. We might actually be able to get a little bit of damage off on these towers. Which is always good. Oh, Blaze, my boy. Okay, that hurt a lot more than I thought it was going to. That hurt a lot more than I thought it was going to. Uh, I just want to get that off there. Get a little bit more damage on the tower as well as them. And good heals there from Uther. I love Uther, man. Uh, I want to help so bad. I want to help so bad. I'm just standing in the plague. Oh, that was my bad. That was my bad. I forgot that his skill shot leaves a thing on the ground like that. And if you stand in it, of course, you freaking die. Um, Yeah, see, that's kind of a bad idea for Blaze to be pushing up like that. We're halfway to our uh, ice block. Cassia got away. Very good movement. And I'm going to be going up top here. Their mouth ale is just fine to solo push this entire game. Look at his 46,000 siege damage compared to 8,000 hero damage. He's doing as much. He's doing less hero damage than their Ana because he's just top laning by himself the entire time. I mean, obviously, um, I'm pretty good when I'm in a group. I can definitely help out my team a lot in that scenario. Do you really want to try and duel me, dude? Come on. Just stand right here and duel. Come on. Dueling underneath my tower. Like... I don't, I don't get this guy's end game. What's he doing? <laughs> I'll take it, though. And here's our Ring of Frost, of course. Our obligatory Ring of Frost. Got myself a Uther up here as well. Can I place that? Apparently, I'm getting bad at, like, thinking I'm placing things, then not actually placing things. I want this globe. I want that globe. There we go. Because they're going to be up here in about 20 seconds. I've got plenty of mana because of that talent. So, we're going to be okay here, I think. Although, he's, yep, I'm going to say he's back alive. And he's gonna, probably going to be sending friends. Which is slow you down. I'll take care of it. Yeah, I just wanted to signal to Uther to get down here. Because we can probably take these two. Uh, maybe. The Definitely with Kel'Thas here. But the two of us, I'm wondering if we could take them on. Double ulti. Oh, the, that was amazing. Oh, gosh. I freaking missed that. How did he get out of there? And... Uh, oh, and he ended up still getting him. Freaking beautiful. Oh, we never grabbed top. Uh, We can do that now, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we got this. And we could continue pushing, but I say uh, we backdoor these guys. I think backdooring here is definitely the way to go. If we can actually get down there in time. Yes, that's right, Sergeant Hammer. That's right, Sergeant Hammer. Just stand right here. All right, we got the hammer. That was the big thing. Um, these other two are so squishy that there's not really a ton they're going to be able to do. Yeah, the Ana's not getting out of that. And KT should be going down. It's just really a matter of time. Uh, Uther probably can't damage him down, but, you know. 
There. Now, guys, how's nobody on the objective? Oh my gosh, we're sitting here killing everybody, but everyone's like focused on the helping. Like, Uther and I had that alone. We didn't need everyone else to go. All right. Oh my gosh. I was going to say, you probably got this by yourself, but he doesn't. And I, I, we could have altered him there, but I could have rather, but I didn't want to. It seemed like a waste. Um, he wasn't going to do much anyway. So, Malthale's not going to be that good here against um, Malthale. Malganus is not going to be good against Malthale here. And get the old skill shot. Put this right in front of him. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay, let's not have me die here. Let's not have me die here. Come on. <sighs> oh, how is he not dead? Guys, do damage. There we go. Um... We're definitely going to be taking Ice Barrier here just to help me stay alive a little bit longer. You guys need to go get down their bottom. Oh my gosh, we're so split all the time. Like, we're winning all these fights, but it doesn't matter because they keep uh, backdooring the objective on us. So now they're going to be having somebody go top for sure. Like, that's a guarantee. So I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go help defend top until everyone's back alive. There's no sense in me trying to go down there and take bottom from them. They already have our tower. What are they going to do? No, 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 don't go down there. It's a waste. You're a fool. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I guess we're going down here to our deaths then. I don't really get it. I don't see what the benefit is. Because somebody's just going to go take top eventually. And there they go. Yeah. Come on, get the blaze, get the blaze. Got my quest. Oh my gosh, could somebody besides me do any damage? <gasps> oh my god, the kill boss is doing damage. He's not even here. Like, the blaze should have died five times right there. Oh my gosh, this is painful. So thankfully, we're able to get that objective. And there we go. I'm just going to back this up. Oh, Uther can actually heal. Uther can still heal. Go for the big slows and just walk right into my queue. Thank you. You end up missing that. I'm just gonna oh, here comes the freaking moving hammer. Oh, that's actually a really good idea to place it down on her like that and then drop this on her and then drop that. And that's the end of her, but not the end of their terrifying team here. There we go. The Ana is doing such a good job of keeping that blaze alive. We're keeping that blaze alive. Alright, well, we don't really have to worry. I mean, with the hammer being down, waiting on my mouth to come back up, we don't have to worry too much about, uh, you know, them pushing that hard here. They might get this tower. Uh, yeah, they're going to get it. Well, we can do a bunch of burst damage here to these guys. This is why we bring Jaina's. Get this guy down. Then I'm going to Kona Cold these guys. There we go. These guys all go down so quickly. Now, now again, I was say, this would be the worst time possible for you just to randomly die. We don't need you randomly to die. Just retreat. Just retreat, dude. What are you doing? Like, all three of my games so far tonight have involved players like this. What was, what was the end game? What was the point of that? What were you possibly going to accomplish being mid lane against three to four people? I don't understand. It makes zero sense. Now they're here. They're likely all there taking that. It's Yeah, it's very dangerous. They're all going to be right here. Why are you guys trying to even try to fight it? What? The? It's all so, like, such common sense, but, like, just nobody has that. <laughs> This is this is why I cut the second game out of the video because I had teammates that were basically doing this the whole time and now here they are back doing it again. And I will ice block if needed. Alright, we're good. Maybe. Good god. That Sergeant Hammer is doing some real damage. Let's take a sippy. And here we're going to be taking just increased blizzard radius, which can help with all the wave clear that we've been doing. Now, see how they're backing up? They're backing away underneath uh, their charge hammer? That's smart. Now, 
The smart thing for us to do would be to not follow. And then also capitalize heavily on this. I was going to say, if we don't actually kill anybody there, I'm going to have a panic attack. <laughs> oh my god, she ended up getting enough heals there. Oh, the... This freaking Ana is clutch healing so well. It's actually insane. Why are you saying WTF? You're the guy that's been doing nothing the whole game. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> oh, you win some, you lose some, ladies and gentlemen. But in the case here is the storm, you seem to lose some more and you win some. <laughs> At least when you're playing an assassin like this who can't really, uh, who can't really carry the team to victory. Like, I'm doing everything I can here. I'm doing the wave clear. I'm doing a good amount of hero damage. Not as much as these guys, but... Uh, that's because I'm, like, splitting off and taking the objectives and stuff like that. But my freaking goodness. This is rough. This is rough. Well, they're going to just push the... They're going to push the fight again. Now, watch... I was going to say, watch as they don't kill anybody again. Oh, so when I'm not there, we can actually get these kills. Oh, we end up getting one. Okay. Well, we need to get to the objective here, teammates. To the objective. You know what? I'm actually going to go top. I'm going to go take top, even though we have a camp there about ready to just whoop upon our tower. Because if I don't go top here, I will outduel you again, friend. Don't think I won't. Oh, now you guys are going this way. I went around because I didn't want to freaking deal with that camp right there. Let's see. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's nowhere. Oh my gosh. He ended up getting away from that. That's fine. That's fine. Because again, we've proven time and time again we can outduel this guy uh, pretty easily. Okay, he's actually doing a lot. I don't know what he's doing to do that much damage now. What did he do to do that much damage suddenly? How do you take that much damage that quickly? I mean, Reaper's Mark, obviously, but he just was able to do so much. All right, well, that didn't work out well. Uh, well, anybody besides me, feel free to get the top objective. Uh, that would be great. I'd be very happy. Yeah, Kel'Thas, yep, you should be hard thing right now. What are you doing? He had half mana. That was fine. You don't need to be a full mana all the time, dude. <laughs> it's so painful. It's so painful, guys. Uh, now they took bottom. We could have we could have utilized that. No, but we had to go back and get our half mana before. <laughs> you know, at least in games like COD, you can you have a chance at carrying, right? In the hots, you just can't. You just can't carry. You can do as well as you possibly can, but when you have teammates like this, it's just like, ah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just clear all these, I guess. Now let's see if we can go help Kel'Thas. Oh, Sergeant Hammer's there. Got a little bit of a stun. Nope. All right, good. I didn't want to, I didn't want to capitalize on any of that anyway. Well, we got, we got that down. Now, get got back up and not be inside this thing from Blaze. Oh, here comes old Reaper Boy. Let's slow him down. A little bit of damage. Let's see if we can hit KT. Oh, my gosh. We still have the damage for all this. I'll be able to get away from this, probably. Oh, that's slow. I had to speak. I had... Oh, she went for the sleep dart. And... Get slowed. We can do a little bit of damage here. Not really. Not that's gonna matter. Where's Pat? Where's Pat and stats for the final score screen? But uh, she'll be able to get out of this. I'll be able to peel for. Her. Yeah. If she can't get out by herself, I was gonna be able to get her out easily. Oh, maybe not. Now at the Reaper's mark. So that's actually his ultimate. That's what killed me earlier. I think. God, we just got straight up bullied here. <laughs> this is just bullying. Uh, I'm going to drop that and pray that my teammates peel or heal. Peel or heals. That's all I'm asking for. Those are actually some super clutch heals there. And that's the end of him. How? How is he still alive? How? 
<laughs> I did all I could! Why was that GG? There was nothing GG! No, it wasn't! There was nothing alright about that! We got destroyed the whole game! It didn't seem- the stats don't show it, but we were behind the whole game! <laughs> All I want to do is win a game with Jaina. That's three straight losses tonight, boys. And I'm not playing bad. <laughs> it's just bad team after bad team after bad team. I'm just looking at the profile. Just, uh, just lose, lose, lose. But then again, and people, you know, people are sometimes are reluctant to believe me when I have to spit out the facts about the feast or famine matchmaking in this game. Remember how I said in my rant video how it's always like win, 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 lose, 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 win, win, win? Well, that's how it's been. <laughs> they come in threes, apparently. And before that, they came in twos. And then they came off the big giant win streak. <sighs> oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be here all night if I, uh, if I continue trying to get a decent match here with Jaina. But you guys got to see in there the power of Jaina. Uh, how strong she can be. How fun she can be. Uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, characters here in this game. Which is why she's number 6 in terms of levels. Very fun. Uh, definitely enjoy her quite a bit. And I recommend giving her a try. But, man. <laughs> I wish I could have got some better gameplays for you guys. But that's what happens when you do these live commentaries. Ladies and gentlemen... That's all I have for you guys here in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop me a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.